do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? A bit of an after as well. Yeah, it's a shitting Peugeot. So we all bloody do today. <laughs> Christmas is uh, slowly approaching. Got a tree up. Grace decorated that. It's not too bad. I'd give her a six out of 10. We've got a little parcel underneath the tree. Santa's been early. Oh, what's he got me then? Let's have a little look. Bloody hell. Pair of BMX cranks. A crap tibia. Found these on eBay. Santa didn't give them to me. Been naughty all year. Santa ain't gonna give me shit. But yeah, found these on eBay, 40 quid. Best BMX cranks of all time. The current ones I got on my bike, nothing wrong with them. I just had them since like 2010. Think about it. Same crank since 2010. They've gone through a lot of pain and a lot of strain. But yeah, these are uh, fresh bad boys. Pretty much good as new. And uh, probably the last BMX cranks I ever buy. So uh, yeah, the crap tibia cranks. Best cranks ever, my opinion. It's Christmas, don't care. We've got this little guy over here. He's skip leg day, as you can see, look, little, little twig legs. But uh, coming home from the piss, absolutely off my rocker, I use him as my guitar and I can literally jab him in the face and that. Whack! Spark straight out. And yeah, it's little, little Rudolph over here, look, and he's skip leg day as well. But yeah, shit's hot. But anyway, let's have the Christmas chat. I've got more important things to talk about the three in one BMX peg. So what you're seeing right now is a three in one basket peg. I machined up a basket peg, five inches long. I got a bit of flat bar, a bit of flat metal, drilled a few holes in it. I spot welded this flat plate to the peg, drilled a hole at the end of the flat bit of metal, and attached a GoPro to it. What is it three in one? It's a peg, you can grind with it. You can attach a GoPro to it, that's two. And it's also an anti-snaking device. You're at the skate park, people are snaking you up, they're doing your head in. Because it sticks out nine and a half inches from your bike, you can take out their ankles. I did it by accident. I realized this by accident. I was going down the drive with it sticking out. Grace was stood there, waving me goodbye. Boom, took out her ankle by accident. She was all crying and stuff. Won't get any presents from her this Christmas, but Brainwave suddenly realized any scooter kid snakes you up, skate park, boom. Achilles tendon, goodbye.
uh, finally me and Grace was able to get out and do a little twat lap and uh, I was able to look at the uh, angle from the back the extra five inches sticking out a little bit further does give you a sort of a, a cool view process of making that uh, GoPro bracket for the back, the uh, anti-sneaking device, I made this peg as well. Look at the size of it. I showed it to Grace and she said it looks like a toilet roll. It actually does! It looks like a toilet roll and I don't even know what to do with it yet. It is a plastic peg with a metal inner core and yeah it is, um, it's huge and it actually fits the back of my bike so I machined a recess on it but yeah that's for another video. I don't even know why I put that in. This video is now spread over two weeks two weeks since I did the first part because the weather has been shite. Every time you try and go out, rain, 
try and go out wind rain storm so we're actually trying again now and uh it's gonna be it's gonna be raining and windy and windy <laughs> grace's got some new shoes so she's gonna try them out and uh some of you keep asking when's the mountain bike videos coming back my mountain bike's broke but it's going in for repair this tuesday ready for some christmas uh riding my bank is not gonna look forward to it my uh, bank manager has been in contact and yeah so my christmas i'm gonna be poor i'm gonna be upset i'm gonna be uh you know on the streets asking for money but it's all good like me you should be well fed because i've got loads of food in the office. yeah at least we've got food we got a roof over our head ish, ish. roof blew off yesterday <laughs> Sod it, let's do this. It is blustery. It keeps raining. As you can see, I've got the GoPro on the uh, the front left, extended right out. Let's see what we get. One more thing that we need to do. There is a dumping ground here. We got TVs, chairs, there's a table I've just found there. There's another chair over there. Perfect. Like I said to you, anti-snaking device. When the peg is on the back, you can take out their ankles when they try and snake you up. And I'll show you just what it could do. So yeah, that kind of ends that. I actually spotted that table dumped there the other day when I was on my out in, and I thought that would work perfectly. I'll take that leg out as if it was a scooter kid's leg. And you can kind of see if anyone sneaks up at the skate park and you've got the anti-snaking device on the back, it's gonna cause some damage. You know, I won't go to the skate park and do it. I'm just saying if you're out there, you're a little bit evil and uh, people are annoying you, snaking you up all the time, it just works. So that is the three in one BMX peg. Uh, go and make it yourself. See how brave you can be with it, how far you want it sticking out. Uh, I snapped the GoPro off with it, um, <laughs> took Grace's ankle out, and yeah, destroyed a table with it as well. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Bye for now. Bloody hell. Crazy. That table didn't stand a chance. That leg went just. Cool. <laughs> All me leg. Oh, slow mo.